you and Thor caused that? Yes. It's just like the one in Vanna. Brother, you don't like riddles, eh? No. Oh, you just haven't heard any good ones. Here, I'm tall when I'm young, short when I'm old. What happened? A hap candle. Yes. Heard that one before? No. Oh. Well, did you like it? No. As I was saying before about Class Velka, it's just that she'd like to retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with her free time. I assure you there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be Hell? Apparently so. <laughs> she just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become Hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Another time. We must focus. Fancy a riddle. If you fancy a boot to the head. Riddle solved.
circling back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them, I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, word gets around about that sort of thing. Vanaheim, then. Sounded like Lady Sif managed to convince the old boar to shelter the Aesir refugees. It was his idea. Oh? To foster peace among the Vanir and Aesir. That's brilliant. Shifty bastard must be trying to prove he can out-diplomat me. At least he's not convincing her to marry someone, like some other diplomats would. <laughs> A deservedly low blow, your majesty. Anytime.
So how are we supposed to find someone willing to take Krasfelger's place in Helheim? Seems like a thankless job. Indeed. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. Something else I recall about that Greek player mentioned, if you won't take offense of a critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. It might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. If you say so. Preferable to silence at last? A rare day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one on my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Aye. Women. Drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries, how could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing, carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony? 
The laird just smiles. Brother, I sent that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. A rare day indeed. <laughs> ah, another crystal. Best hold on to it until we can figure out what to do with it. <laughs> Remember which god raised her dander up. It does not matter. Doesn't it? If rage is all that remains, her reasons are irrelevant. Brother, I've been meaning to ask. Your homeland. I'd heard the gods there wielded every flavor of power you could imagine. Lightning, fire, the whole lot. As did I, for many years. Oh. Any chance you could recall some of that magic? No. I have tried. Magic is bound to the Earth. When your homeland died, your powers probably went with it. Ah. Uh, well, probably for the best. Let the past stay in the past, and all that.
It's glued to that structure. There must be a way up. Brother, somewhere out there there's a riddle you'd enjoy. I'm going to find it. Do not. Once spoken, instantly broken. What am I? Silence. Correct! I was not answering the riddle. Ah. What is it you want? Are you... a father? Yes. Then you must understand. My son, this toy, it was for him. But now he is gone. That day, so much chaos and death. I was panicked, looking for my son. Please, help reunite me with my son and Folkfanger. This father needs his son. We can help him. What is the last thing you saw, spirit? Statues. Two of them. Dragons facing away from each other, separated like my sons. This toy, it will bring me back to him. This story is like many in this valley, separated from someone they love by death. I do not wish a lost son on anyone, living or dead. Agreed. You do? Oh, huh? I assumed you'd say something like, reuniting the dead is pointless. Not this time. Mm. <laughs> If we keep going this way, I believe we'll reach that air dragon's lair. Yes. Just making sure you know where you're going. Thank you. <laughs> I have to get past those vines somehow. Curious, brother. Why don't you like riddles? They are frivolous. They encourage lateral thinking. Listen, there are three doors before you. One contains a pit of spikes, one a dragon, and one a pair of lions that haven't been fed in weeks. Which door do you open? Hmm. The first. A pit of spikes is easily avoided. Ah. You should pick the third, because lions that haven't been fed in weeks would be dead! Eh? Hmm. I like this riddle. Enemy behind you! Oh! <laughs> 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 
It avoids every attack! The way is clear. Brother, I've heard my share of stories about your homeland. I've also heard that you once fought in a tournament. I fought in many contests. But this particular one, I heard you did battle with beasts, scoundrels, princesses, the undead, automatons, and history's greatest musician. That's not... that's not true, is it? I would not speak of this. Fair enough, brother. Can't get through with that bastard trying to bludgeon us. Then we must get closer. 